Mabuhai, Kamastakayo, and welcome to another video. So this is going to be an update on the cactus seedlings in the Mars Hydro Grow Tent under the TS-1000 light. It's been a little while since the last one and the growth on some of these seedlings in here is amazing. You can probably see already just how big some of them are. So what I'll do is I'll get all the trays out so we can get a better look at them. So these are Gymnocalesium mesopotanicum. A lot of these seedlings are just over a year old now. Some Gymnocalesium bruchi. Different forms on some of these and some already starting to offset as well. Gymnocalesium papchi. Some of these had their growing tips damaged but have recovered well. Already grown some offsets as well. Gymnocalesium gerti. Again, some of these got damaged from keeping them sealed in containers for too long, but they're doing well. So that's the first tray. Second tray, these are Gymnocalesium platygonum. Amazing growth on some of these ones, especially that one. It's already big enough to get its own little pot, which I'll be doing soon, potting some of these bigger ones up into their own pots. Some Stellatums. Again, suffered a bit of damage, but as you can see, some nice new growth coming through. Almost like they're shedding their old skin. A couple of Gymnocalesium Uruguensi there. And these Mahenovici have done fantastic as well. Some of these have got a real growth spurt on. This largest one here will get its own little pot as well. Amazing growth on that one. Gymnocalesium quailianum. Lovely growth on these ones as well. Gymnocalesium natale. These ones suffered the worst damage from being sealed too long, but again all have recovered and grown new heads and multiple offsets as well. I've since turned the brightness of the grow light up to 85% as well and that's definitely helped with their fast growth over the past few weeks. And finally for this tray some Asterium. A little bit slower with their growth these ones. Next tray is some Astrophyte Mysterious. You might notice a few gaps there where plants used to be. Unfortunately, I lost three of these recently. Not sure why, they just seem to dry up and disintegrate. The rest look fine though. And this one could potentially be a Monstro's form, so that's pretty cool. Some more Asterius, Shinshoa, these ones. Got a few nice five rib ones in there as well, which is a little rarer. Mixed Asterius. These ones aren't quite a year old yet, but already some are a nice size. Fralia Cataphracta. Some of these have really taken off recently as well. And some others still very small. Gymnocalesium denudatum. Quite slow as well, these ones. Potentially a variegated one there. And finally, for this tray, some Gymnocalesium horridospinum. In here we have some Parodia buiningi. 
recently potted these ones up into this tray. And for Astrophyton Myriostigma X Capricorn. Next are some Turbinocarpus Valdesianus albiflorus. As with most Turbinocarpus, they're pretty slow growers. Then these lovely Parodia wernery, which got a huge growth spot on as well. Really nice size to some of these already. Another tray of Turbinocarpus Valdesianus. I don't remember exactly how old these ones are, but I think they'll be coming up to a couple of years old soon. Got some more Gymnocalesium stellatum in here. some Epithalantha micromeris, some of which are a really nice size already as well. And a couple that are barely visible. Another tray that's doing well, Mammillaria senellus. Got a double-headed one in there as well. And some Echino serious rigidissimus rubispinus, some of which are starting to get their characteristic purple spines come through. Next is some more Gymnocalesium girty. some Gymnocalesium Aguadolci hybrids. Nice form on some of those. Then another tray of Aguadolci hybrids. Again some of these have put on a growth spurt as well. There's one in here as well that's variegated. That one there has a stripe of variegation running down the side. Some younger astrophytums in this pot, doing pretty well. And some Echinopsis in this one. Again, pretty young, sown in February. And the pink subdenudato Echinopsis that were on the other side all died, unfortunately. Not many germinated, but they slowly died off one by one. But I have some others growing under another grow light, and they're doing a lot better. Three little Gymnocalesium Mahanovici. The only three of about 15 seeds that germinated. So not a great germination rate on those ones. Six little Gymnocalesium spegazzinis. Right, I'll just show you the ones on this little shelf I got hanging in the tent as well. They're a bit awkward to take off here. Gymnocalesium reganesi hybrids there. Sedum rubratinctum. Rhodia buiningi, which was the largest of those other seedlings, already in its own little pot. Then this Grisula Redhorn. Do a repot soon, that one. 
and then these two which I always forget the name of but I'll put them up on screen for you just show you a couple of other plants that are doing really well this variegated Crassula swaziensis loves being in the grow tent this one again another that will be doing a repot soon as well Then this Echeveria prolifica, nice and compact, nice colour as well. As I said once before, these are good test plants to put under a grow light to get your height and brightness at a good amount. Super light, hungry plants, these ones. So that's an update on the seedlings and plants currently in the Mars Hydro grow tent under the Mars Hydro TS1000 light. Both have been fantastic at getting these seedlings to the stage they're at now amazing growth on most of them i'll probably put some pictures on screen now of how these seedlings look just two or three months ago to how they look now you can see just how much they've grown in a short amount of time i think if i was growing these just under natural light they wouldn't be as big as they are that's one of the benefits of having a grow light and the tent as well every day is a sunny day in there i do highly recommend a grow light if you're starting off cacti seedlings it does give them a huge boost to their growth as you saw with some of mine, they're already big enough to get their own little pots. And that's what we'll be doing in the next update video. We'll get some of those bigger ones out of their trays and pot them up individually. So stay tuned for that one coming in the next couple of weeks. Remember, if you're interested in any of Mars Hydro's products, you can find the link to their official website in the description below, along with my coupon code that you can use to get a bit of a discount off your purchase as well. So thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to like, comment and subscribe. Hit that notification bell as well so you know when I upload a new video. And you all be safe and well and I shall see you next time. Salam pop alum. Bye for now.